Hey beauties, it is your favorite girl, Jessica Nicole. And as you guys can see, I have nothing on my face at the moment because I will be trying on some new product. I received a PR package from the company Profusion Cosmetics. I actually never heard of them until I received this PR package and come to find out they are an affordable brand. It's only available at Target, so I guess it's a Target brand. From the price points that I'm seeing on this little paper right here, it is super affordable. So what I'm going to do is try out all the products that they sent me and just do a first impression. So they did not send me any like foundations and concealers and things of that nature. So I'm going to be putting all my foundation and stuff off camera, and then I'm going to come back and start playing around with the products that they sent me. I'm also going to list the amount of the products, not only in the description bar, but on the side of the screen. I don't know if I'm going to put it in the left or right corner, but you guys will see it. And I'm going to use the products the same way I would use any product that I've ever used. So before we get into this video... You know what I gotta do. I gotta shout out my game. Not only for the past video, which is a mukbang slash Q&A with my boyfriend that I posted on Monday, but the video that I posted on Friday as well because I was unable to shout you guys out in my last video. I was trying to get in and out. I was hungry. <laughs> um, but yeah, so stay tuned. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all social medias. And I will be right back with foundation on my face. Alright guys, so I am back. I have one foundation, concealer, and powder. I have one uh, no contour. Well, I have one cream. But I have one no contour, like, you know, powder or anything like that. So, I'm going to be using whatever palettes they sent me in order to achieve the rest of my look. They sent me this brow kit. It comes with tweezers, a pencil brow gel and then this little powder brow set now i'm kind of happy because you guys know i like to set my brows with powder after using pencil but this pencil right here got me a little scared i'm gonna use the brow pencil it doesn't say what color it's in it's just a brow pencil friend that I do makeup with actually likes I don't know if she still uses these kind of pencils but I know that she used to and I really really don't like these kind of pencils they're pigmented they're cute but I don't like these kind of pencils because once they're dull they have like no use and you gotta keep sharpening them and I don't know like my brow they it's too brown for my liking all right so Honestly, the pencil's not bad. Would this be like my first choice for a product for my brows? No. Does it work? Yes. Do I like the color? Eh. Actually going to be using my angled liner brush from Crown Brush. And I think this is a C207. I'm going to go into this shade right here in the brow palette. And I'm going to... Just go over my brows just to set them in place. So the palette does come with a brow primer, I guess like a highlight shade and some other stuff. But, you know, I'm just going to use what I usually use in my brow palettes. So, honestly, I'm kind of liking this brow powder. Now the second powder is super dark but the brow powders are really pigmented all right so i'm using this brow this clear brow gel why am i so excited for this i think this is so cute just okay oh there's product on it i see it the brush is really gentle the product is super wet like mm. Hopefully it does set it. The product is super wet. Like, when I pulled it out, like, it got everywhere. So, I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to be using my P. Louise face. And this is in Rumor 3. So, the base is tacky. So, we're going to go into the 21 eyeshadow palette uh, that comes with a dual ender brush. 
comes with a concealer brush on one side and then it comes with a blending brush on the other. This blending brush is pretty huge. Not going to use that. Today I'm going to be using my Morphe brushes like I always use. This palette is so cute. Like, I don't even know what color to start off with. I'm so excited for this palette. I'm going to start off with Fearless with my M433 from Morphe. I'm going to use this as my transition shade. Look at the... Okay, I'm already feeling this. I'm going to pick up my M511 from Morphe. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Oasis. I'm just going to just blend out the outer area of the first shade. Dapper and Daring looks the same to me. So these, well, when I'm looking at it on oh, my monitor, it doesn't. So this shade and this shade kind of looks similar. So Dapper and Daring looks the same, but Dapper looks a little bit deeper. So I'm going to go with Dapper from the palette. And again, I'm using my R38 from Murphy. I'm just going to deepen that crease area. Ooh, fall out, fall out, girl. Fall out. Okay. And there is kickback in the palette. I'm going to show you guys. Well, this color gave me more kickback than my last color. See right there? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is some, some kickback in the palette, and I am getting fallout as well. Um... Well, that comes from some of my good shadows anyway, so hey, it is what it is. So I want to try and deepen up my crease area because I'm going to do a semi cut crease. So I'm going to go into the color with Madly. Deeper in the crease with a smaller brush and this is my M514 from Morphe. I'm going to cut my lid out. Let's see how that works. I'm going to cut my lid out. Uh, I'm going to use Rumor 1 from P. Louise uh, with my 714 brush from Bedillion Tools and I'm going to do a semi cut crease. Just going to take my R38, I'm going to go back into Dapper and just blending, just tapping that shade on where the base meets my outside shadow. Now I want to go in with a shimmery shadow. This is where the real test lies. So I want to go in with a shimmery shadow. I think I want to go in with the shadow right here. Because it's a dual chrome and it's really, really cute. It's called Dizzy. Mm. I don't feel like it's coming up that much on my brush, though. Oh, but it's coming up on my eye, though. Okay. All right now, Pearl Fusion. So you could send me the PR package. I ain't tell you. I'm getting my edges now. Just saying. I'm gonna put some of Groovy right underneath the black eyeliner. No. Okay. So the real test to me was going under my waterline because the P. Louise base is not there. So the pigment would have to show up. And. Honey. Then I'm going to go in with Fearless just to blend underneath that. I was looking at Dapper, but Fearless is doing it. Okay. So for inner corner highlight, I'm going to go into this color right here, which is Tickled. It was calling my name before I picked up the other color, but... Tickles, you gotta show up. Gotta come to the party. Tickle this hair. I'm gonna blend in a, another eye color, which is this one right here, and it's called Conquest. I'm gonna put that on the top. Okay, they're all at the party. All right, we are Bizak. Both eyes are on, and they look super bomb. So, let's go in to this palette now. This is a Sculpt and Glow palette. 
and it comes with four highlight shades, an under eye highlight shade, a medium and a deep, a medium contour and a deep sculpt shade along with this brush. So I'm not gonna use the brush because I honestly want, I was thinking about it but I'm not, I honestly want a good contour. So I'm gonna go into the deep sculpt shade with the brush that I always use to contour. I'm just gonna see what I can get out of it. I think I'm getting something out of it. Let me just blend a little bit. Now the contour on it, what I'm getting is not something super harsh. It's something that's super buildable. And I like that in my contour uh, powder because you guys know contour can make you guys look crazy if it's not a buildable product. And just for the sake of the video, I'm going to put on blush because they said blush in one of the palettes, which you guys know I'm not a huge fan of blush. So let's go into highlights. So I want to say I really don't want to play with these colors because they're not really like the highlights that I go for. Like I said, I'm not going to go into the last palette. I'm going to go into this one because this palette looks a little more promising and more on my side. So I'm just going to pull that little film off. And these are more of the colors I like. Like all three of them, the, all three of the highlight shades, these, these three look sexy AF. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Hype first with a fan brush. This is from Vanity Planet. Ooh. Oh, I'm sweating. Do you guys see that? That sweat? <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with Passion, which is the center highlight shade, which is like this, rose, this deep rose gold shade. I'm just going to top that off. Last thing I'm going to do is pop on some blush. I'm just going to use my number 79 brush. And I'm going to go into this one, which is Lovejoy. Y'all don't really understand how much I do not like blush. Okay, I'm just going to take my brush and just blend everything. This hair is getting on my nerves. I'm not gonna reflat iron it because it's gonna mess up anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go into the last thing that they sent me. This is a lips to go uh, set. So when it comes to lip liners like this, I feel like it's not super promising for my skin tone, but we will see. And so it looks like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's in the color Charm. Okay, see, I am, um, this is not me. So I'm going to, instead of doing that, I'm going to go in with a regular lip pencil. All right, so I'm going to use this True Brown K pencil that clearly is messed up. Okay, so the lipstick is a matte lipstick and also the color is in Charm. Let's apply that. Ooh, it's, it smells good. So I'm gonna also use the topper in Charm. This, what the hell? I don't know. It looks like the the brush broke because this is really really hard. Oh, the brush is just freaking hard enough. Alright guys, so let's get into my reviews on these products, which, okay, so I'm going to start off with the brow kit. I don't know if it's just everything mixed together with the pencil, the brow gel, and the powder, but my brows didn't set, like, they're really easy to move. Like, if I just take my finger and rub it over my brow, my brow is gone. I'm not a fan of these kind of pencils. I like more retractable pencils when it comes to my eyebrows, so, um, 
and the gel I felt like I didn't do anything uh, usually my brow gels hold my brows in place and it'll get a little like not stiff to say but you can feel that it is set and I feel like this just doesn't do it uh, but I would definitely try to use the powder again maybe in a different way I do love the colors that's in the brow palette um, and it's cute and then it comes with a tweezer I did not use a tweezer I'm just gonna hold on to the tweezers for myself so yeah but the next thing I used was the Sienna palette like I said this palette right here was me and a palette this would be like my everyday palette my go-to palette and I was super impressed and this palette is ten dollars by the way $9.99 um it's, I'm super impressed by this palette. The pigment that came from the colors that I used were amazing. There is some fallout and some kickback, but you could also use setting powder underneath the eyes and, um, you know, just be a little careful with your blending. But the palette was really good, especially for the price point and the fact that the eyeshadows show up. Um... I don't know if it is the P. Louise base, but I use a P. Louise base a lot now, so I can't tell you guys if it will work different with another base. But this palette is definitely worth the $10. The only thing that I wish this palette had is a mirror. And I usually use my palettes and have them to my eyes and working from the palette itself on my eyes. So I kept like when I was doing my other eye I kept doing that remembering forgetting that there is no mirror up here so if profusion adds a mirror to the top of this palette but the sculpting glow palette which was this one and the sculpting glow palette goes for $9.99 as well um it is the same size as the eyeshadow palette and you know the pins are pretty big so I'm guessing that's why they chose they charge what they are charging um the contour shade actually showed up on me so I'm pretty impressed by that I did not use anything else out of the palette I kind of was not impressed by these highlight shades that's why I did not touch them they're not up my alley unless I'm doing like a carnival kind of look but these shades are not up my alley and the shade kind of reminds me of that shade from Fenty Beauty. One of the last things I used was this blush and glow palette which is $4.99 aka $5 because I like to round up. Um, so this palette is $5 as it comes with three highlight shades and two blush shades. I used all three highlights and one of the blushes and I must say I, I am so impressed by the highlight that came from this. I kind of like the blush that came from it as well. You guys know I'm not a big blush person. So, I mean, for $4.99, you get three highlights, especially because they are all melanin friendly. I kind of like this palette, like, a lot. The last thing I use, which is the lip kit. Let me just show you guys, which is called Lips to go not use the pencil because the pencil is not a shade that I would go for to line my lips so I used a my lip liner from Kylie Cosmetics um they smell really good the lip cream gets matte really freaking quick so it's kind of weird for me and um the lip topper the brush was super weird I didn't even know it was a brush because the brush was super stiff and like poking me in my lip I had to like push it down inside of the thing and now that I pushed it down inside of the tube it's working the way that it is supposed to and this also smells good as well so in all profusion for the price points that you guys are giving me for this these products I'm really impressed especially because these products are coming from Target I mean Target no, this wig is giving me so much problems. Okay, I'm not even looking like I flat iron this thing, and I don't even care at this point. <laughs> but yeah, I am super impressed by these two things, especially this. Okay, this thing right here. Um, super impressed by it. I did not swatch any of the shades, but just to show you guys, these are super pretty. 
super pigmented. I'm going to show you guys the yellow shade and the orange shade on my thumb and pointer. And these shades, especially those, oh, those shimmery shades. This is Bay right now. Y'all gonna see this palette again, I promise you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I always tell you guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all social medias. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys in my next video, which is Friday.